What's going on guys? In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to add another super fast Gen 4 X4 SSD drive. This video will be done specifically with the new Sovereign Rocket NVMe 4.0 one terabyte SSD drive with the all new Alienware Aurora R13 or R14 or actually any other computer with an NVMe SSD drive. We're also gonna be adding and testing out a heat sink on this drive as well to bring our temps down a little bit as well as increasing the overall lifespan of this drive. Little disclaimer, keep in mind every time you open up your computer and modify anything inside, there's a possibility of you breaking something. So follow these steps at your own risk. And make sure to ground yourself on something in case of any static electricity. First, before you do anything else, make sure to unplug your computer and make sure to disconnect anything else from your computer. Now Dell recommends you put your computer on its side, but for this video, I'm going to leave it standing up for better camera angles. Now go ahead and unscrew the back handle until the side panel pops out. Right here is the little open bay that we're gonna be putting our SSD drive. Let's go ahead and remove this screw right here. Open up our fancy new SSD drive. I'll put a link in the description for this one as well as a few more options, depending on your speed needs and budget. Now, if you don't get a heat sink, just take out the new drive and go ahead and slide it into this slot right here and screw it back in. But if you do get the heat sink that I put in the description, you'll wanna carefully remove the Sovereign sticker in order to fit everything in the heat sink bracket properly. Then what you'll wanna do is to first remove the plastic on one of the sides of the thinner thermal pads place that into the heatsink bracket, then remove the plastic from the other side of that thin thermal pad. Place your SSD card on top of that where it lines up with the little notch right here. Then remove the plastic on the sides of the thicker thermal pad, place it on top like this, remove the plastic on the other side, and then place your heatsink on top of that where the notches line up and press it in to make sure it's stuck on pretty firm. Then take your six screws that it came with and screw in the sides of the bracket to the actual heatsink. Now I attempted to do this with a Sovereign sticker still on originally, but it was just too thick and the holes wouldn't line up. So most likely likely you're going to have to take that sticker off as well. Now you're just going to want to slide it in like you did the other option and screw it back in where that notch is. Just make sure not to over tighten. All right, now let's close everything back up and set it up in Windows. All right, so now we're going to do a search for disk management. Click on this result right here. So we've got two options, MBR for master boot record and GBT for a storage drive. We want that one. Now right click on the new drive and select new simple volume. Click next and then next and choose your letter for your drive. Next and then name your drive whatever you want. Now let's go ahead and check it and there it is. Okay, so now these were the results with and without the heatsink. Honestly, after doing all this, the heatsink doesn't really seem to be worth it for this computer. It's getting enough airflow from the back fans that it never really gets that hot initially. I'll put a link in the description though for those of you that have cases that don't have very good airflow to your SSD drives. It's always good to have your drives as cool as possible as generally that's gonna lead to it lasting longer. If you'd like to add a much larger, less expensive three and a half inch hard drive, click here for my link on how to do that as well as which ones that I recommend. Recommend. or click here for my full Alienware upgrading playlist for more how-to videos with this machine, the R13 or the R14, or click here for my gaming computer reviews playlist.